Okay, everybody, so what we have here are a couple of Lesco electric ceramic heaters. Um, we actually got um, three heaters. I'll show the third one in a separate video. We actually got these because sometime last year, um, the furnace for my um, brother's house had, uh, had stopped working. It needed a new, uh, a new gas valve, I believe. And obviously, without that, without that one furnace they have, their house had no heat, so they used space heaters. So that kind of got us thinking, you know, maybe we should buy a couple of these just in case if ever one of our furnaces stopped working. So we just have them as a backup. Uh, we haven't had to use them, but, you know, if ever we have to, they're right here. So, th so I thought maybe I'd do um, a video on them for you. Um, we have two of these um, particular ones. The third one I'll show in a separate video. For this video, I'll just show one of these, but I just wanted to show you um, what things we got here. So again, so again, this is a heater by Lasco. Um, you can see the front here of both boxes. They're bo both, both boxes are pretty much the same thing. American company since 1906. And I question that, but we'll see how it goes. Here's some information on the front of it. Top mounted controls. So I think it's I think it's uh, mechanical control, which is good. 1500 watts. Even has oscillation, which is interesting. Here's the top. Hopefully you can read that. Want to pause the video? You can. And on the side here. So yeah, it, it looks like it's pretty much um, designed for maybe like a smaller space, I guess. Um, it shows you the uh, what it has on the top. Oh, is that safe? Hmm, interesting. Okay. And on the back here is just the same thing in, I believe that's Spanish. And then same thing on this side as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box and we'll see what it looks like. And here's the heater itself. Looks um, pretty uh, simple overall. <clears throat> um, it does come with the owner's manual, as you can see. So here's the controls on top. You have fan, I'm guessing that's low high. This is the oscillator switch. We'll see how that comes into play. Thermostat is right here. It, it, you can hear the clicking, so good, definitely mechanical. Um, I guess that's a status light. We'll see how that comes into play soon. There's the front of it. You can see the um, coils through that grating, probably. Company name. And on the back here, here is, there's the fan right there. And interestingly enough, look what it says to do if it, um, if it shuts down. Turn it off and put it to high. Interesting. Maybe for testing? I'm not sure, but anyway. Yeah, there it is. Now, of course, one of the things I can immediately comment on about is um, how, you know, with this modern heater, you have all this plastic over here, but on this, on this vintage Markel heater, you got metal all around. So, definitely shows you a difference there, huh? So, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I guess we'll see how it does. Uh, power cord looks to be about either, I believe, looks to be seven feet, I think. So that's not all too bad, I guess. And it looks like it oscillates, you know, this thing turns back and forth, because this is like a movable platform or something. You can, yeah, you kind of see that? <clears throat> so we'll see how that comes into play. All right, so what we'll do is um, we'll also be using the watt meter today, and we'll see what this pull, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, um, we'll see what this pulls um, when it's off and when it's on low and high. Okay, so with the unit currently plugged in and turned off, um, that light does come on, so I guess um, that's kind of like a status or like a plug-in light or something, whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, so with it currently just that light, doesn't seem to be pulling much of anything. So I mean, I guess that that light uses um, I don't know, less than I guess less than 0.1 of a watt. So having it plugged in, I guess, doesn't really use much of anything. All right, so let's go ahead and I guess first thing we'll do is let's let's go ahead and put it on just the fan only. Uh, Hmm. Oh, the thermostat, that's why. But we'll turn that up. Yep, the fan comes on. Airflow is not all that strong, but I wasn't really expecting it to be that strong on a heater like this. I can feel it up to about maybe halfway on this um, work mat, so... Uh, or maybe actually, you know, just a little bit more, like just to the end of it. Alright, so um, that's what... It, and with just the fan mode, it pulls about... Just over 15 watts. All right, let's go ahead and put it to low and see what that pulls. Oh wow, quite quite the amount of wattage even on low. Oh, that's really climbing. Wow.
I, I, okay, now it's starting to go, now it's start, starting to go back down. Alright, so it seems to be settling. So what we'll do is let this we'll let this fully warm up, and we'll come back and see what this settles at. Okay, so with it fully warmed up, it seems to have settled out to about 911 to 912 watts. And what we'll do is, uh, yeah, you can definitely feel the heat. Yeah, up to about, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd say to the end of this, uh, of this mat right here is where it kind of starts to really dissipating. Now what I have here is my uh, thermometer. Remember this thing? We'll see what this says when I hold up to it. Let's see here. About 170, once, yeah, highest was 170, so, okay, 178, oh, there we go. It's kind of hard for it to point exactly where it needs to. So the high point was like about 180, just about there, so it's kind of what it pulls. Pretty interesting. All right, so, now the only thing I want to check is, I wasn't expecting the wattage to go that high on low, so I'm going to move this to high and see what happens. Now, th th this watt meter has a 15 amp limit, so if it goes beyond that, I'm going to have to take this out of the circuit and just do the heater directly. So let's see what happens. Thirteen. Well, it's just about there. Okay, it's going back down. Now, I got a little nervous there for a second. <laughs> so kind of like before, it's, um, it's uh, fully warming up. And we'll come back when it uh, fully settles. Okay, so this is this is about where we've settled to on high. So it uses about 1409 to 1410 wattage for uh, high. 12.3 amps. It's definitely way up there. Now let's go ahead and see what the uh, temperature tells us. And here we go. Let's see, 201 was the highest, 203. So we can get it between those uh, things in the front grate. That might be what's interfering with it. Uh, yeah, 205 was the maximum. See, so, yeah, see, so, yeah, it could be in the uh, 200 range, maybe. Oh right, yeah, so I say about the 200 range is what it does. So um, it does, but it does put out a good amount of heat, I will say. Um, but yeah, the airflow isn't all that great, though, but then again, I, I know heat rises up and everything and, you know, things like that, so um, maybe it does an okay job if we ever had to use it. Let's go ahead and see what the oscillator does. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, just like I thought. See, that, that that's how it does the oscillation. It takes its time, which isn't a bad thing, I guess. Doesn't really seem to go that far in either direction, but you know. Then again, we haven't had to, we haven't had to actually use this thing yet, so maybe it does an okay job for whatever area that it has to cover. All right, we'll let this settle back to the middle. Alrighty. Um, so what I'll do is let me go ahead and put this back down to fan so it can cool off. Um, and you can see how much the wattage uh, goes down. <laughs> and I guess I'll still do what I'll do is let me put the oscillation back on and if I turn the thermostat off yep the oscillation stops okay so it definitely has to be running completely for the um, oscill oscillation to keep going which I, which, which, which I guess kind of makes sense but alright there you go so there's the uh, Lasco heater overall not too bad so I guess if ever we had to use this um, in an emergency situation, it would do an okay job. It wouldn't heat a whole big open space, I don't think, which this house does have a lot of. But I think for just a, sp a specific room, it'd probably do an okay job. But it is interesting how it has the light on for when it's plugged in. Could be for safety reasons, like maybe you shouldn't leave a heater plugged in when it's not used. Which does make sense, when the Marco heater is not used, I never leave it plugged in, so probably the same thing, really. Uh, anyway, guys, there you go. There is the Lasco 
uh, space heater with ceramic elements. Overall, not bad. It seems to do what's to be expected for a modern heater, but I do like the fact that it has mechanical controls, which should help in reliability, hopefully. And if ever we have to use this in the future, we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.